it's got to do with how treacherous you can be, who you can make deals with, who you can play off against the others, who you can bribe, who you can blackmail. You know, I mean, I may not scream louder than any of the others, but I can sulk better than just about anybody in the band. But lots of drugs and bribery, I think. And also, um, I don't know, and the cats away, the mice will play, I suppose. Let success go to the other people's heads so that they're out partying all the time, I suppose. Trying to get a song on the fucking record is like trying to find the lost gold of the Incas. You've got you to kill some people. You've got to stomp on some people. You've got to kill off a lot of other songs to get your song on there. K.K. Chucky is actually like a little funny cameo role. A little, um, I don't know, almost like a funny sidekick. But I think K.K. Chucky would like to uh, expand a bit. In fact, if K.K. Chucky doesn't get a lead vocal on the next album, K.K. Chucky's going to be out. Stick that in your jumping pipes and smoke it. You've got to get in the ear of whoever's making the decisions that day. You've got to prove that your song is cooler. You've got to give some points away to other people sometimes. You've got to say to someone, I love what you did on that song, you know, what you did, your bit, your bass bit, your guitar bit, your drums, your drums. I think your drumming on that was superb. We were, we were just mates doing Friday night recording, you know? Some people play squash, some people play tennis, some people do whatever, but we got together and we just get messy and record songs. And we'd record songs like, sick with the taste of truckers come, and, and these, these things like that. And obviously they don't think that they're gonna get any radio play or anything like that. So all of it comes down to how hard you wanna play. And we play fairly hard in terms of getting what we want. I just went out and just lied and kept on building it up. I'd spent a lifetime in sales jobs that I hated and I'd learned all these skills that were completely evil, um, really evil, and then I just used them for good. Ah, oh, don't, look mate, can I lie without you being here? I'd like to stop this until he leaves. God bless him, look at it, look at it. You know what? In our Sydney office we had, at one point we had Kylie Minogue, Cut will cut out. Christina Nu, uh, Paul Oakenfold, the DJ, and Love Shark. And I, and I walked into the office one day and I, and I, I looked at them all, they all lined up together. I just went, you know what? He is actually the better looking person out of the, the whole lot. He is. I mean, he's, he was the more, he stood out. He stood out. I mean, Kylie's gorgeous, you know, they're all gorgeous. But Love Shark, he's the one, he's the one. He is the one I really, you know. You're automatically attracted to him. I just can't, you know. No, you can't. You can't give Michelle Nunn Felicia advice. You know, they'll fucking laugh at you. They'll just go, who the fuck do you think you are? Just because you fucking signed us.